So for today, we're going to be looking at the new Guardian Games armor set for the Hunters. If you guys don't know, we've already reviewed the armor and the shader video. They're both right here. You guys can check it out. We look at how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts. And in the shader video, I only show you my favorite is shaders because if I spent the whole time doing my shaders, I would literally fall asleep because I have so many pages of shaders. I've been playing since Vanilla to Destiny 2. So... Let me know what you guys think. This video is going to be a little bit different than how I usually do it because I have an extra set. That being said, if I really wanted to, I could take one of them out because this one is from another video that I haven't posted yet, but I'll show it to you just in case. But just be aware that the first set that we're going to be looking at is actually from the Gallarhorn armor set, which I made the Gallarhorn videos first, but because Guardian Games is first, that's why you're doing you're getting the guardian games one first so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys remember hit the bell notification notification if you guys want to keep up to date with my current content because i do think it's worth it other than that here is the first set now i really like the helmet for viper zeal which is the hunter set really really cool set i think this came out really really well for the arms virtues groups for the chess piece warriors memorial cures which is the Gallowhorn set Calliope's Lullaby for Orpheus Rigs, and then the Abyss Walker Cloak for the Cloak. Now, this is a set that I've made uh, a few times. Uh, the only difference is I'm switching out the chest piece and the helmet for other pieces that I usually would put on this. And I like this set a lot more than I thought I would, specifically because I like Warriors, the Warriors Memorial Cures. I think it look, goes really well with everything. And the Viper Zeal, I don't know what it is, man. I think it's the, like, the eyes look really, really cool. For the shader and grand lusters, grand luster is what we're using because a it's the perfect purple for the the uh, bow on the back and then the arrows on Calliope's lullaby. So I like this one a lot. Let me know what you guys think. As for the next set, I'm gonna be completely honest and keep like I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking with this one. Do I like it? It looks pretty cool. It's just I don't know what I was thinking with this one. So for the helmet, Assassin's Cow base look is what we're using with the Viper Zeal grips and the Viper Zeal vest. For the boots, Warriors Memorial Strides, and then for the cloak, Warriors uh, Memorial Cloak. So this one I did not put in the other video because this was new. And I don't hate it, but it, it looks like a combination of like a Power Ranger meets like a Warrior, which is really weird. I don't hate it completely. The shadering is Rivalries Resolute. This is one of my favorite shaders from Guardian Games. And definitely you should get it because again, it's a banger shader. It's a blue, white, and silver. There is red and yellow on the off colors, but again, those are off colors. So this one is not bad. Um, it's just, I question where my head was going with this one because uh, again, I've been really bad with my sleep schedule as of late. So I'm just chalking this one up to being like, I must have just been really super sleep deprived. And this is what I came up with. So let me know what you guys think. I don't think it looks bad. Again, it's just weird. As for the next set, this is where it starts getting really cool for some of these sets because now I'm actually trying, or at least it looks like I'm trying. For this one, we're going to be using the Pyrrhic Ascent Mask for the Arms Charm I'm Sure ornament for the Liar's Handshake, for the Chess Piece Viper Zeal Vest, and then for the Boot Atavastic Idol Strides. For the Cloak, Cobra's Hood is where we're using, but I'm going to be honest, you can use any cloak that has a like a cobra in it doesn't have to be cobra's hood that being said i really like how this came out obviously this is very much like egyptian serpent look because the helmet not well not the helmet but the arms the chest piece and the the cloak all have vipers on them or serpents uh for the chest piece it's actually the belt the arms obviously is everything and then the cobra's hood it literally is in the name so for this one, you can actually use the Charmed I'm Sure ornament, the cloak that we got last season, if I remember correctly, with this. And I think it would look even better. But overall, I really, really like how this came out. Um, the reason I'm using the Pyrrhic Ascent Mask is because it has two long, like, pointy bits at the bottom, which kind of look like fangs to me, which is why I'm using that. And overall, this was all literally just, I want to make it Cobra themed as much as I could. And I really like how it came out. Let me know what you guys think. I only don't like the fact that the chest piece doesn't really mesh well with the arms but again this is more so of a like a cobra look than anything else that being said if you didn't want to use the charmed i'm sure or specifically the uh the liar's handshake we do have a really good exotic that you could pair with it 
which is called the Ophidius Spathe. That one, specifically with the ornament, has a cobra coming out of the chest, which would be really cool. I just think the Charmed I'm Sure ornament looks a lot better because it's literally two snakes at the sides and then the like the uh, the fangs on the arms look really cool. But again, Ophidia Spathe does exp does exist if you want to switch out the Charmed I'm Sure for the Ophidia Spathe ornament, specifically the Keen Cobra ornament. So for the shadering, Don Hope for pretty much everything aside from the cloak because Donning Hope was the best one I could the best shader I can combine with the Cobra's hood. That being said, I'm actually noticing that it's a different build completely. The Dining Hope is more of an orange rather than the Cobra's hood, which is more of a yellow gold. So this is where it become problematic because the Cobra's hood does not change color. So honestly, I would just tell you if you have the, co the Charmed I'm Sure ornament, like the cloak, just put that instead. You're going to save yourself a lot of trouble with that. As for the next set, like I said in this video or some other video i made a lucha libre vibe for the boots and i really like it uh for the helmet we're going to be using dragonfly regalia mask for the arms we're going to be using the aeon swifts i think i'm pretty sure they're called the megalomorph vest the viper zeal strides and then the viper zeal cloak so this one again like the whole thing for this one was lucha libre which if you guys don't know it's just wrestling in spanish but the boots really, really remind me of like some of the boots that King would wear in the Tekken series, which is why I immediately thought Lucha Libre. Let's go in with a Lucha Libre look. So the reason I'm using the Aeon Swifts with the Megalomorph vest is because it's supposed to mimic a human body, like it's supposed to mimic like the upper torso of a person because the boots would be the only thing a Lucha Libre or yeah, Lucha Libre would be wearing. And the boots are the arms and the chest piece would be like just their their like naked body. And I really, really like Viper Zeal Cloak with this because it kind of looks like a lot of the cloaks that uh, King would wear in Tekken. And then the honestly, the helmet's the only thing where I'm like, honestly, you can go ham with this one. You can choose whatever you really want. If I had a snake inspired helmet, I think I would have chosen that immediately just because that would have been that would have fit the theme a lot more because this basically would have just been king but snake version so for the shading ultra plasmic specifically because i want to combine the blue from the aeon swifts with the blue on the viper zeal strides uh glow that's really it so let me know what you guys think about this one and last but not least we have another liar's handshake look with thalia's reach for this one for the helmet solstice mask majestic for the chest piece jensen knight cures boots catch killer strides and then for the cloak viper zeal cloak so this one's really really cool because when I first saw this cloak, I wanted to combine it with the Jensen Knight QRS. Because if you guys don't know, the Jensen Knight QRS has a pointy bit in the front of like the chin where the where the hunter's chin's at. You guys will see a point that's not part of the Viper Zeal, it's part of the actual chest piece. And immediately I was like, okay, cool. Like it looks pretty cool. I'm gonna combine this with the Scarlet Semblance so it could look really fucking like meaty and like almost like he's been through some shit and honestly the whole thing for this one was literally just the viper zeal cloak with the jensen knight QRS, and i wanted to combine that with something really really cool so i ended up going with the catch killer strides because i think it goes really well with everything else the only thing i would switch out honestly would be the solstice mask and thalia's reach uh specifically the uh liar's handshake i would switch those two out uh, toast i would switch those two out like with I would switch those two out immediately just because they're not that good with it. That being said, I like where my head's going with this one because when you switch out the arms and the helmet, then you could start noticing like, oh, what can I really fucking do with this? Like, I think uh, Shards of Galinor would probably be a really cool like look for this. And for the helmet, honestly, a helmet that looks good without the cloak, I think would be good because that's going to be a big problem for Hunters specifically because we don't have a lot of helmets that look good without a cloak because it'll look really naked so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys coming up to this point like i said in my review video i still haven't started the my, my new job i quite frankly i'm still doing all of the voiceovers so expect all of the videos going forward until i don't even know when honestly but until like the warlock um the warlock video for the gallerhorn armor I think that's when you'll know you'll like stop hearing the same me and then you'll notice like i'll probably sound tired or something but 
yeah i'm gonna start the the new job um remember to let me know if you guys would like to see a discord or a patreon i have been working on it like slowly but the reason i didn't post like a discord or a patreon is because i wanted to like really make it like good which is now kind of pissing me off a little because i feel like i should just post it and then work through it because if i try to perfect it i'll never post it so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i will see you guys later